Today, we have new developments regarding the curious and uh, controversial case of Miss Eleanor Ordidor, an OFW working in Taiwan who was being harassed by the Department of Labor and Employment for criticizing or attacking the president in social media. According to Dole, uh, Miss Ordidor's nasty and malevolent posts should be good enough for her to be deported from Taiwan. And she's being charged for cyber libel while in Taiwan posting in social media. That's how desperate, you know, authorities or pasipsip, okay? I call these people at Dole pasipsip, okay? They're trying to please their idol. Probably the head of Dole would like to uh, please and appease the president and uh, would like to be like Emanuelito Luna. All right, Emanuelito Luna is an official uh, who was fired by the president. It's uh, like an anti corruption, you know, uh, director or official who was recently fired by President Duterte for being passive. You know, he exceeded his passive level uh, and uh, because he would like to please the president, Duterte, Mr. Duterte, he wanted uh, Vice President Lenny Robredo investigated for competing with the government in terms of extending help to the Filipino people. So imagine how stupid and desperate and corrupt and evil people in the government you know are so again like i said mr emmanuel Luna, head of an anti-corruption uh bureau or department in this country sought to investigate all right vice president lenny robredo for extending help to the filipino people by tapping you know, the help or the capacity of the private sector in order to provide PPEs and free public transport transport to the Filipino people. And according to Emanuele Tuluna, the vice president should be investigated because she was competing with the president and the government in terms of extending help. So uh, what he's trying to say is, Never compete with the government. That's the reason why we have this nonsensical regulations that before you can extend help to the people, seek uh, something like permit or you need to pay money to the government first before you can extend help. Because probably you cannot compete with the government when it comes to extending help. Only the, you need to go through the government first. So... This is how I see the case of Dolly. I don't think, and I said in my previous vlog, to be to be fair with Duterte and some of his high-paid minions in the palace, I don't think Duterte asked the Dolly to harass Miss Ordidor in Taiwan. I said that in my vlog to give the president the benefit of the doubt. My suspicion or theory is some corrupt, ambitious officials at Dole would like to appease the president, would like to enlarge their resume, would like to extend or to to be promoted to in high offices. All right. Uh, so they did this. They would like to, again, like I said, appease and uh, tell the president, well, we're, we're with you. And whoever is going to attack you, we're going to attack them as well. And uh, we have this case now, uh, this news report today, that Taiwan rejected, you know, the request of the DOLA, the Department of All, you know, Departments in this government. We have the Department of Labor and Employment, which should be pro-labor, not pro-administration. It should be pro-labor only, trying to harass and attack you know, a worker in Taiwan for exercising her, you know, freedom of speech. Okay, that's what she did. 
she attacked the president while in Taiwan. So is the extraterritoriality principle going to apply here? We don't know. But before we get there, uh, let's just check what Taiwan, uh, or not Taiwan, but Dolly did. So uh, in previous reports, uh, Dolly uh, released a press release, you know, saying that it uh, sought to have, you know, this uh, uh, OFW deported from Taiwan for attacking the president in social media. So here is a statement released by DOLE or Department of Labor and Employment. So, all right, so I've uh, discussed this matter in my previous vlog, by the way. So we are constrained, according to the DOLE, in its uh, April 25th letter. So it's just a few days ago. And um, this is a press release. I tell you, this is for real. This is not a joke. So, according to the Dolly, we are constrained to act for the deportation of a Filipino working as caregiver in Taiwan for the crime of cyber libel, for you know, willful posting of nasty and malevolent materials against President Duterte on Facebook, intended to cause hatred amidst the global health crisis brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. The caregiver, Elanel Agut Ordidor, is employed in Yonlin County, Taiwan. So this is a clear case of legal harassment, political harassment as well, because uh, Ms. Ordidor was simply exercising her right to free speech, not in the Philippines, but as a Filipino citizen in Taiwan. And it's so unfortunate, it's so disgusting that we have this Department of Labor and Employment, which should be pro-labor, which should be pro-Filipino workers, trying to attack this woman for simply speaking her mind. And they have the guts to accuse this woman of you know, uh, posing nasty and malevolent. What the hell is nasty and malevolent? Okay, so, and they think you, you need to prove malice, okay? Before you're going to accuse someone, before you're going to charge someone with libel, libel or even cyber libel, you need to prove malice. You need to prove that there is malicious intent on the part or, of the perpetrator to destroy or blacken the reputation of someone which is in this case the president of this country and if you're gonna define what nasty and malevolent is just watch just watch uh, president duterte's press briefings okay that's gonna tell you the definition of nasty and malevolent so it looks like we have a president who can dish out dish it, dish it out who can dish it out but cannot take it. We have a snowflakey, onion-skinned president who are, isn't able to take uh, criticisms, you know, both, uh, both uh, constructive and even, you know, black criticism or nasty criticism. So uh, let's go back to the news uh, from Rappler. And I really like this. I was reading this earlier today, earlier, just a few minutes ago, Taiwan rejects deportation of OFW to critical of the Duterte. News report from Taiwan quote its foreign ministry as saying that foreign workers enjoy freedom of speech and citizen treatment. So I'm so gladdened, I'm so happy that Taiwan is protecting a Filipino worker in Taiwan. And it's, it's, uh, by contrast, we had a case like two days ago, yesterday, it, it became controversial, a case of Mr. Javier Salvador Para, a foreign resident in Dasmarinas uh, village in Makati, being harassed. He was harassed by the police for simply defending his household helper, who allegedly violated quarantine rules by not wearing face masks within their property. <laughs> You know, while while uh, watering the plants. So, um, let me just read it to you. Taiwan has rejected the Philippine Department of Labor and Employment's moves to deport an overseas Filipino worker over social media posts critical of President Rodrigo Duterte, saying 
the Philippines must first consult Taiwan before taking any drastic action, which is which should be the case. The foreign of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Republic of China, said the foreign workers enjoyed or foreign workers enjoy citizen treatment, which means which mean to, we, I'm sorry, which meant their rights and interests were protected by relevant laws and regulations, including freedom of a speech, which should be respected by government of all countries, report Taiwan News. So all, I, all I'm going to say here is pahiya ang dole. It's so shameful that we have officials like this at dole, you know, working for the powers that be and not working for the Filipino workers. And I'm so uh, proud that Taiwan is trying to defend, you know, a lowly Filipino worker against a government, an abusive and corrupt government under President Duterte. So I'm not going to make this uh, uh, vlog or, you know, very live rant uh, so long. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And this is again Uncensored Asian Vlog and have a good one to all of you.